So one of the rare Kevin Harvick 164s is this. Uh, Kevin's 2007 AutoZone Chevrolet. Now I've had about, well let's see, one, two, about five of these, yes. Five of these, and it's probably even more because at one time, well actually it's, it's six. I've had six or seven of them, something like that, I don't know. But uh, for whatever reason, these always seem to go for upwards of 20 to $30 dollars on if you want to sell it immediately. Or somewhere around that. Uh, Timothy Peters also drove this car, so it's a uh, collectible for Timothy Peters fans as well. It just happens to have Kevin Harvick's name on it. Now, this is not the only one I have. I did sell my other two that were in the small little box form that I'm always reviewing on here. Uh, that's just the hood opening one. This is the one that was in the regular box form. <sighs> uh, so, I bought this. This is my original one. This was bought from... DJ Speed Zone in uh, the Wausau Center Mall back in uh, 2007, I believe. I also bought the, uh, I believe, AJ Allmendinger Red Bull car then, too. I can't remember. But uh, it's, a, it's a nice car. I didn't think there was any value to it. But when I got bigger, uh, when I uh, started getting deeper and deeper onto the forums of the Internet, I realized that, oh, man, this is a rare car all of a sudden. Now, I don't know why I'm so lucky as to finding these uh, versus other people. I found one at the Coke 600 actually for two bucks and then I went off and sold it for 25. It wasn't you know scalping or anything it's just current market value. I'm not gonna resell it for two bucks if somebody offers me $25 for it obviously you're gonna take the $25. It sounds really bad but that's the way the uh, business is. So I'm not going to take this out of the box, I already have, or that one out of the box, I already have one, and it was how to get back in with the hood up, but uh, I'm pretty content with keeping these two, one loose and one mint on card. So let's take a look at the car itself, you have AutoZone on here, front end is a red band, the only 124 they made of this one was the Daytona raced version, and then they made this into the standard version. Uh, they also made the Kenny Wallace a year before as well, so I also have that, and I can review that at a different time. Unfortunately, it's not in the package. Uh, All Data is a sponsor back here, if it ever focuses. Come on. Uh, it's not going to focus. Anyway, I used All Data back in my auto shop in North Carolina, uh, or auto shop class in North Carolina. You got Safety Clean, Snap-on, Shell Penzo, Akuma, Dura Last pretty prominent on here but like I said Timothy Peters actually drove this car as well and then he ends up getting wrecked by his teammate uh, Bernie Lamar I think no it was Curtis Davis back in 2007 this was in 06 um, while Peters was running top 10 in it I believe it was Nashville if I'm not mistaken I think he was running sixth at the time but yeah uh, take a look at the back of this there is no production run on here it just says limited edition which means there's a pretty standard run of the minimum of 2,000 or so pieces of it I could be off on that number but uh, that's just the base if you want to get a promo made and you're not a major team in the Lionel Trust <sighs> so yeah that's this paint scheme that's the uh, Kevin Harvick AutoZone Chevy Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys have luck finding this car because it's very nice to have in the collection. So if you like what you saw, you can comment, like, and subscribe for more. I will see you.